Hello, everyone, and welcome back to This Isn't Dream SMP, the only podcast, well, probably not the only podcast, where we talk about uh, all things dream related to the multiplayer server. I, I have a tough question for you guys on the show yeah, today. Do you, do you think Dream cheated on his speed run? No. Max, shut the fuck up. No, he didn't. I mean, did did you see it? Like, it was like one in seven billion odds. No, he just proved uh, that. Bill Nye the Science Guy was there. Yeah, I do remember and, seeing that one, the Bill Nye the yeah. Science Guy one. That was actually <laughs> right? really interesting that you had mentioned that because I actually literally saw it earlier today. Yeah, no, listen, I was watching that fucking video earlier today too. Yeah, it's it's actually really in depth. I can actually like send it to you guys after we're done recording today. Oh, that yeah. would that would be yeah, excellent. I have a confession. I yeah. have a confession. Hmm. Uh, I don't know who Dream is. I have never played Mark. <laughs> Mark. I think That's you scandal. cheated on your mine. I think you cheated on your Minecraft speedrun. Uh, you wouldn't even know. You would. Know. I'm literally Minecraft. John uh, Minecraft. Oh, I'm Jane Minecraft, fucker. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> Get it together, Max. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, nothing but love to Dream and, and SMP. I, yeah. It's none of my business anyway. Anyway, welcome back to This Isn't Normal, the show that does not have anything to do with Minecraft. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who's listening to the show. Thank you for your patience in the age of COVID-19 while we're, uh, you know, getting back on schedule over here. Thank you to my lovely co-stars uh, who joined me so diligently. Uh, hey. hey you guys you guys oh. make this um please tell a friend about the show that would, that would be fantastic anyone else have anything they want to shout out I black lives matter so. black lives yeah. matter damn straight a big one. that's a fact that's never want to follow them. whatever mark what? just said hell yeah <laughs> I, I think <laughs> i'm just gonna leave that in like just exactly as it is here is a funky recap um to all of you listeners out there who may or may not have, you know, either just listened to the previous episode or listened to it last week, unfortunately for us, we uh, are in a position where that was not possible. So it's been a few weeks since we recorded the previous episode. So please forgive me uh, and any of my, you know, co stars if there are any continuity errors if i get a voice wrong if we kind of forget something i promise the story is the same but you know so anyway in terms of what happened last time um y'all came to the big decision you crossed that fork in the road and you chose bad it's bad bad choice what? evil choice what? not not bad not the bad choice just like you chose to be bad boys you chose well, to kill Robin. hang on I don't I don't think that's fair. We woke up today and chose violence. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was literally like a last second decision, but like <laughs> in general, we're preserving the timeline. So I think there's something admirable about that. And we did wake up and choose violence though. Yes. We did. Anyway, so you have made a pact with the demon Tempest and he has promised you I think he promised you a boon. Does anyone remember what I promised you last time? Wasn't it whatever we wanted to know plus uh, eternal gratitude in the afterlife? Uh, it no, was, not eternal it gratitude. It, it was one it or was, the other. That's what it was. It was, you can have, I think he uh, offered you guys uh, a, like a truth of your choosing, um, except about him. You need to do something a little more than that to get that truth. And you'll be, ba you're basically going to be set up in the afterlife. So though your lives on earth are gonna fucking suck he's got you like you guys made a pact so as soon as you die and go to hell you'll end up in his realm and he's promised that you will be treated basically like kings there so you pretty much are set for eternity but you got to die first mm -hmm. plus a secret so uh, but in in uh you know response to that killing roger you will be going back to the future tomorrow and you will immediately be blackmailed by the government right yeah that's fine okay lastly uh other points you are currently in a room uh with roger who is a little nervous but trusting you guys um you've rented a secret separate room because uh dandy is waiting for you in your current room to help you figure out how to protect roger after she very expressly made clear that if you do anything to harm him it'll be likely end very badly for you via her and you have two spoons and a butter knife, and Seuss is having a breakdown in the bathroom. And that's it's fine. She's, a, she's only got one of the spoons. Exactly. So, 
that is exactly where we left off. Roger is standing in front of you, Park, and Mark, what's your name? <laughs> Pete. Pete! I was going to say, like, Steve, and I was like, that doesn't sound right. Park, Pete. Uh, I almost said Steve again. Um, <laughs> Park and Pete, Roger is standing in front of you. He's a little nervous, but he is... He is looking forward to your help. Seuss is in the bathroom, tears streaming down your eyes as the guilt and understanding of what you are about to do has gripped your very soul. You feel ill. I sure do. What do you guys want to do? Man, you know? Stab. Oh, my oh God. God. Are you going right for the stab? What do I have? Do I have the spoon or the knife? You have the knife. It you is a butter a, knife. I will a clarify. Butter knife. Please be aware. And I have a yeah, I have a have... spoon held by the spoon so that the handle is the sharp part. <laughs> well, what, what? How close is Roger? I'm gonna say Roger is literally just a couple of feet away from you, so he's within you know, buttering distance. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on. Should we should we wait for Seuss? So, um. How do we how do we proceed from here? What what should we do? Um, I mean, I uh, I I know you guys are like you'd press for time, so um, should we just hang out here the whole time? Yeah, I mean, our our goal was to keep you safe, and I believe that with no one knowing that we're here, as long as we keep you safe till after today, it should be fine. Okay, alrighty, so. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want to tell some stories or something? I think that would be nice. What? What? Are... I think that would be nice. Oh, she she thinks that would be nice. Oh, okay. Um, well, uh, do you guys want to hear a little more about about the magic I have going on? Yeah, I mean, I don't really. <laughs> okay, I really don't need much more time. Um. You know, I um once I have Tempest completely under my control, I do want to find out more about him because if we can harness, you know, his time powers, you know, we could do a lot. I don't really want to change the past. That sounds, you know, pretty dangerous, but you know, having a peek into the future, looking looking to what might go wrong, perhaps we can and I know this sounds maybe a little dangerous, but but there's got to be a good way to be able to set the future on the right path and obviously i don't believe in you know like total control because i'm not i'm not here to be a king or anything i i don't really mm -hmm. i kind of just want to be recognized for my scientific efforts but i i don't need to be like supreme king roger you know but if we could have him look into the future tell us you know all the ways that perhaps humanity might suffer in large-scale ways we can we can do our best uh, to uh-huh huh i thought i heard someone say something i'm sorry i i know i'm a bit of a rambler but um are you guys... Did you have any questions? I mean, I suppose we could, like... That, that is that is a, a very excellent plan, actually. I suppose we could have told you about the next hundred years or so, but, like, you know. Well, I mean... I, I, it, it, the world does last more than the next hundred years. Well, that's very good. Does it... Uh, well, you wouldn't know much beyond that, but... Uh, from the scientists I've talked to in your time a little bit, I know, I know technology just explodes after... What is it, like, the 60s or something? 1960s? Maybe further than that? Yeah, I mean, like, the next century is about to go insane. Like, you guys are just starting with cars, and, like, you wouldn't really know how cars do things in the next hundred years, but, like, eventually they're run on electricity, and, like, you can get power from the sun. It's pretty cool. You can power things with the sun? Yeah, solar uh, panels. Really? That's yeah, so fucking it, it cool. gets it gets crazy. It's so maybe, cool, Roger. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's maybe that's somewhere somewhere we could like start. Uh, if we if we can harness the power of the sun, you know, maybe we can do um, you know, he, Earth Earth resources are finite, and I I mean technically I know the sun is finite, but what if we could you know harness? We I mean, uh, granted, I was gonna say uh, we can have technically endless power from demons since we'll have control over them, obviously, and we'll yeah, be able we'll to use them to our advantage. The demons, Roger. Oh my god, Seuss, Seuss take, a, take a breather. Listen, <laughs> Seuss, why don't you have some tea or something in the lobby? Maybe? Um, 
I, I, I'm not an expert on feelings since I'm, I tend to just kind of panic and leave in terms of situations like this. So if you need like a minute or a, you know, just to be elsewhere, I, is she okay? okay? Would that help you out at all? <laughs> if I, if I left, like the would would you guys be okay? Yeah, like go go. With, yeah, like go take Roger? a walk if you if you want to go like take some take a tea break. We can we can hold down the fort. You can hold down the fort. Yeah, that are is you, an expression that we use. Are you? Um, Seuss, you're acting so suspicious. Roger's gonna again roll to. I don't know. <laughs> what what would I what would I roll to be suspicious? Maybe just like an intelligence roll. <laughs> I'm gonna roll intelligence. All right, Roger actually did get a success. Okay. Roger notes that, you know, this is not normal, especially seeing as Seuss is a little over-emotional. And he starts to get tenser and tenser as he just begins to inch a little backwards on the bed. And he's like, you know, maybe um, maybe we don't all need to be in the same room. You know, I, I, I've had a hard life uh maybe maybe i could just have a nap in here you guys could you know maybe wait outside yeah, or no, wait if you if you want we can like go take a walk we can like get sue's some tea you can like yeah. take a nap yeah that sounds perfect please by all means i'll um i'll be here i'm not there's not anywhere else i can really go i'm just you know uh maybe maybe if you're gonna come back in or if you'd like to come back in just give a special knock like one two three or something uh followed by two um just so we know it's each other yeah, uh, sure. Sounds good, bud. Suze looks a little panicked by this too. She's like, "Wait, wait, wait, but Roger, you're 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 in danger here." Yeah, but I'll, I'm fine. Uh, this is you guys go get some. Do a stretch your legs, especially you. You're, uh, I'll I'll be frank. You guys are kind of freaking me out a little bit. Well, not you guys, but just you specifically. This is a little weird. Uh, if you're not up to like, if you're scared, uh, of you know the demons or any of the hunters that may you know come after us today. I just need to survive until tomorrow, and I think, frankly, being in a hotel with um, at least several people who know how to fight much better than I do is is probably safe enough. I, I, I'm pretty sure if you go, just take a quick walk, maybe an hour or so, no more, um, come back, give, give, check on me, I, I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah. Do you, Wait. Do you want, like, one of us to stick around here with you just in no, case? No, that's okay. Like, if you guys just want, I mean, if you want to, like, hang out outside, or, I mean, uh, I mean I'm mean, i sure I have something if we wanted to, like, pick a lock in another room nearby, yeah. uh, even the one, like, next door, that, 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 that's, I'm sure that'd be fine. What can I roll I mean, to try and get Pete's so, attention? Like, wouldn't there be, wouldn't there be a window issue? There is a window in here. I, I just, I'd be worried that, like, something would get in and we wouldn't hear. Oh no, the wall. I'm sure the walls are like probably paper thin. Can I um, can I roll to try and get Pete's attention? If you want. That is a normal success. Okay. Um well then by all means go ahead and normal success it up. You sneakily wiggle your fingers and Pete you catch uh Suze's eye as they're attempting to del relay something quietly. I give I give Suze a look. Suze is looking frantically back and forth between Pete and Roger. Like Roger Roger's gonna roll another intelligence as uh, Seuss is, or Seuss is not exact. Like looking back and forth repeatedly, frantically is not exactly stealthy. <laughs> Seuss is not doing a good job. Can, can I can I attempt to distract him? Uh, by, sure. By, by like having the conversation we just had at the same time that Seuss is frantically trying to look back and forth. Uh, sure. He did just fail his intelligence check, so he just he noticed it, but he just assumes it's because you're you're freaking weird, Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> Suze is basically just trying to be like, no, we literally can't leave this guy. <laughs> we can't leave this room. We'll miss our chance. Yeah, like, what the fuck are we getting? We can't go for a walk. <laughs> okay. Pete's gonna, gonna do a few things real fast. Okay. All right. So, Roger's sitting on the bed, right? Yeah, and he's not close to you as he was, and he is... Uh, he is not outward, like outright, a hundred percent suspicious, but he is suspicious of you, and any actions you take against him will likely be picked up very quickly. Okay. So I, I probably oh. cannot, you probably can't stealth him right now. You're gonna have, or if you attempt oh, to no. stealthily 
you know, like quickly do something, like attack him or stab him, you're gonna have to roll extremely well to, for it to actually work. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do real fast. Let's see. Is he closer to like the head of the bed? He is now, yes. Okay. Perfect. 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 How many pillows are on the top of the bed? <laughs> um, there are there are four pillows. Are they like normal sized pillows? Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. All right. Let me think about this real fast. Let me think about this. See how I want to do this. Like the most effective. So I have the. Uh, you do. We never really established. We never really established where I kept the knife. So I'm just gonna assume it's in my pocket. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume that's where everyone's keeping it. Okay. So I'm gonna make a few rolls here. Is there? There's. What's the equivalence of like dexterity? Dexterity. Is dexterity in this one? Yes. God, it's okay, been a cool, while. Cool. So I'm gonna make. I'm gonna assume it would probably be two dex rolls probably a probably two dex rolls in the strength De thank you so i'm gonna dex roll grab the pillow okay <laughs> um all right let me see i'll let you that one since it's the first action i'll let you get away with that without roger being able to respond but as soon as you okay. attempt to you like use it against him he will be rolling against you and if i'm on the head of of the bed would i still be behind him would i be behind him or in front of him you're in front of him the head of the, so the head of the bed is against the wall he is um just about pressed against it so he's close to the pillow so if you grab one he'll be very close to you but you'll likely be either in front of him or like side to side um and he would uh be attempting to jump away from you okay so, yeah, I'll make that first first dex roll. That was a success to grab the pillow. Okay, you got a pillow. Roger is looking at you um, with a mix of confusion yeah. and apprehension. And then I'm going to attempt to put the pillow over his face, like whether it's like <laughs> pinning him against the wall or the bed. Okay. Rapid fire uh, smothering. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so I'm going to roll for that really quick. All right, he's going to roll to dodge out of that. Well, as soon as you lunge towards okay. him, he's going to attempt to evade you. Okay. Um, I did get a hard success. Uh, he got a seven, which is an extreme success. Ooh. He's getting out of the way, boys. So <laughs> we you, got, we fight. you grab, you lunge forward with the pillow, clearly in a, a sense of, like, attack, and he jumps away from you, and he is now next to the door with his back to the door. His hand is gripping for the... Um, for the handle he has not found it yet he has not evaded the room yet but Can i attempt to grab him <laughs> well hold on a second um so we're likely about to enter into um basically combat except he is not going to try to fight roger will be attempting to just fucking run so yeah, it's that, kind of like that's it's, a chase but okay. i mean but we're not he's not out of the room yet so it's not a chase yet but it's likely okay. going to be a chase. Possibly. <laughs> if, Will, if you would like to roll to grab him, I guess, w would that be strength? Um, or would that be dexterity? Probably strength, and he would roll dex to aid? Yes. Okay, so uh, we'll both make that roll then. Uh, hard success. Oh, failure. <laughs> <laughs> You're not okay. leaving. <laughs> Roger, uh, now sweating profusely, ghost face ghostly white he goes well what are you doing I, I, as you lean forward and he is still fumbling for the door handle which is just a little bit lower than he is expecting you grab him by the shoulder and pull him into a headlock unfortunately roger i cannot let you leave roger starts screaming at I, the top of I his cover lungs. his mouth i cover his mouth he bites as hard he's like his his mouth is like gnashing his like little tongue is going wild against and he is trying to <laughs> can, get I, can i can i make an emotional save to not be like mm, horrible <laughs> sure <laughs> i don't know what kind of save i would be making to resist the urge to move my hand away from this man who is biting and licking me uh, <laughs> i mean let's see i could i mean i could argue for like almost a sanity check but that's not really what sanity is used for I mean, um, I guess constitution. Well, whatever I'm running, whatever I'm, yeah. whatever I'm rolling, it's a sixteen. 
Oh yeah. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. What's the what's the the, the best role you can yeah that <laughs> the best okay. role you can get that isn't the perfect role. A two. So. No, an extreme success. Uh, um, yeah. I don't. I don't while, remember the names while, of the success tiers. I see. While he's so, licking and biting, can I just like run over with the pillow? If you want, he's in a headlock, so putting the pillow over his face with, um, his mouth, his hand over his mouth, it's not exactly going to get the job done, because he can. He's in a headlock, yes, but it's a little bit of an awkward position because he is now going to begin thrashing, and as he's thrashing around. You're not exactly strangling him with the pillow. You're just kind of making it a little uncomfortable and making it harder to breathe. But he is not going to be knocked out uh, or killed by this action. He's just you. You just have a pillow over his face, and he's still breathing because he's um, and rooving around like a little. Uh, he's actually going to attempt to break out of your hold with a strength roll. One second. I imagine that would probably be a strength contest. Yeah, he's fine. He failed. Oh, Her, you know, don't even bother. Don't even bother. <laughs> don't even bother rolling. So he can't break out of the hold. Um, you don't give a fuck. Oh. Actually, kind of enjoy his him licking you. Oh Ooh, God! Nice. <laughs> I, I love this. Um, <laughs> sanity so, gain. While this is happening, can I look? At, can I look at um at Park and just be like, should I just knock him out? Yes. I nod. All right. All right. Move your hand. I, you can still punch him in the head. My hand is only on his lower mouth and neck. I, guess, I, guess I suppose. So. I, I, move the, I move the pillow and I'm going to make a punch check. <laughs> just a punch it check. Real quick. <laughs> I'm just going to make okay. a punch check. I guess um, you roll Probably. strength. I will roll constitution to fight to stay uh, awake. I got a one. <gasps> Mark, you're not going to believe it. I also got a one. Uh, but it's attacker's choice. Right? It is attacker's yeah. choice, yeah. Oh, oh. Knock that out. Roger crumples. He is because he also got an extreme success. I'm gonna say he is not like out out cold. He is um, extremely dazed, and his legs buckle, and he's sort of like limp in your arms as he goes. What? I, why? I'm dragging him into the bathroom. Wait, uh, I do have a plan B, and I open the window. <laughs> What story okay. are we on? I... You are... I don't... Wait, did I say? We're pretty um, far up, I believe. We we were a few fo uh, floors up. I think you... I don't remember how tall the building is, but That's I really want to say okay. it's like six or seven. Yeah, I'll, I'll say you have like... Uh, dropping him out from this window, you have a 50-50 chance of killing him. I mean, if, even if we drop him out the window, like he's not going to move any. Uh, no, no, like, he'll be... He doesn't die. Even if he doesn't die, he'll be severely injured, but there's a 50-50 chance he'll live. Stab him first. <laughs> stab, stab him first, him. throw his body out the window. I stab him. Uh, oh, God. Well, you're going to have to roll for that, because uh, you do have a fucking butter knife. You can take disadvantage. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Is, would that just be like a strength roll? Uh, isn't there like a knife? Is there like a weapons? I mean, there's a weapon. yeah, it's like an improvised um, weapon. Right. Okay. Cool, 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 so, uh, do take a disadvantage on that, please. Okay. In this game, I believe we call that the penalty. Dice. They're the same thing. Yeah. They're the same thing. They're, they're, I mean, yeah. Okay. Um. So my weapon skill is pretty dang high because mm -hmm. you know uh, I kill people for a living, mm -hmm. and I did get a hard success even with disadvantage. Okay. You stab Roger. Where do you want to stab him? In his belly button. You stab him in the belly button, and he um, immediately um, sort of, like, snaps out of his haze. He is now fully conscious, and he is absolutely just screaming extremely loud as you've now stabbed him. Um, and you don't have his mouth covered, because he fucking, he fell, he crumbled. So, you now have a bleedy, screamy man, um, and you do <laughs> not have much time. Can I, okay. can I hit him again? Can I hit him again? <laughs> You can just, try. Just, just, to, just to put him through the ringer. You can try. He, I don't know if it'll knock him out uh, <laughs> at this point. I would I would say, it, go for it if you'd like, but uh, the, your best bet is to throw him out the window because you do have a limited frame of time before someone comes to investigate the screen. All right. Well, then, can I, can I, instead of punching him, use my strength check for the throw out the window? You're going to have to drag him over the window first because you are- Drag to window? 
So go ahead and roll strength as he's uh, been stabbed. So he'll he'll take disadvantage, but he is going to contest being dragged to the window. Um, it's a normal success. Come on, Roger. Oh, uh, no, he failed. It's fine, he failed. Yeah. <laughs> Do um, fail me now. <laughs> he is a scientist, after all. He ain't exactly made of muscle. Um, God, nerd. So, and he also kept. He also keeps rolling 80s. So <laughs> this isn't normal. Oh bullies God. the nerds. <laughs> you drag Roger over the window, and he has he has at this point stopped screaming, and he's begging for his life. He's like, please, 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 please don't do this. Please, I just I wanted to save everyone. Please, I please, I'm begging you, don't do this. Please, 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 please. And I want to punch him again. Go for it. <laughs> I'm just because gonna take my own sanity check. It's becoming check. very brutal very quick. Uh, I failed the punch... sanity check. Right. Yeah, that's uh, okay, Seuss. Uh, go ahead and just absolutely white out. You are no longer. You are conscious, but you are not conscious. You are absolutely checked out. <laughs> Seuss is no longer down with the plan. Yes, no, Seuss you... crumples. We're not gonna like. I'm not gonna take away sanity points, but you just you uh, cannot act. Uh, even if someone ran into the room right now, you are incapacitated for at least the next five minutes, at least, uh, especially after they throw him out the window. So, Seuss, so, so you can just you can just chill. <laughs> the other two. Um, so, Pete, you punch him. Uh, it doesn't even if it, you like you did more damage. It doesn't really change anything. He is not any woozier. He is still basically having a meltdown as he begs for his life on the floor. Oh, man, now I feel bad for him. I just wanted to knock him out. Yeah, it, it, I'm I'm literally just imagining being stabbed in the belly button with a butter knife. <laughs> the the amount of pain this man must be in at this point, uh, it is like, it's ba nothing you could do now, except, you know, stabbing him somewhere else would probably do much. So he is groveling on the floor. All right, let's just, let's do this, Park. Let's fucking... I'm 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 doing another strength check to throw him out of the window. Oh my he's gonna, god, you're already up. He's gonna roll to contest again with disadvantage. <laughs> just get this man out the <laughs> fucking window. This is cruel at this point. Did we just he drown him in the bathtub? Like he I, I I got a success. <laughs> you okay. lift Roger up to the open window. He looks at the ground and he looks at you and he just he just stops. And everything about him freezes as you push him against the frame. His body is like a limp noodle as he stares into your eyes, uh, Park. He is he is staring into you in a way that you feel deeply unsettled by. And he says, I'll see you there. And he falls out the window. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Max here for your regularly scheduled ad break. What's going on? Thank you so much for listening to the eighth part of The Bloodied Past, our Beth-led pandemic extravaganza. We really hope you're enjoying. I want to keep you in the loop about what the next couple weeks are going to look like and uh, all that sort of stuff. The next episode is going to come out on our main feed, April 1st. That's right, we are hitting the ground running with an incredible episode on April 1st. I can't wait for you all to hear it. I hope it is everything you could expect from an April 1st episode. That episode will not be available on our Patreon feed. Uh, we're going to just launch that straight out the gate on April 1st. But you will be able to catch the Bloodied Past finale either on April 4th on our Patreon or on April 11th on the main feed. Speaking of Patreon, we have one. Uh, we rebooted when we came back from hiatus, so if you're interested in supporting the show on Patreon, please head over to patreon.com slash tincast. We have two tiers. They're both incredible. For $5 a month, you will get access to almost all of our episodes a week early, April 1st being the one exception, so you can stay ahead of the curve and know everything a little bit quicker. And then for $10 a month, we will thank you during this segment every single week without fail. We don't have any $10 patrons right now, but I hope you'll consider. There are so many great ways that you can help the show that's not financial. You can tell a friend. We love it when you tell your friends. Please tell all of your friends. They're out there. Little Timmy, he's, he's dying for a new podcast. Please tell him. 
If you want to support the show on social media, please use the hashtag TinCast. It goes a long way, and there's a chance we'll use your name for a character in an upcoming adventure. The other big thing that helps us get noticed is ratings. We love your ratings. iTunes. We're on Spotify now. Come check us out on Spotify. Please. All of that stuff just means the world to us, and it helps the show grow more than you could ever imagine. As one additional notification this week, I want to thank Will specifically. Will, if you're listening to this, thank you so much. Will went above and beyond to take on the role of our second editor, which is, to be honest with you, it's a huge load off of my back, and I am so grateful for the help. Will, this is now immortalized. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. The last thing I want to say before we sign off today is a uh, request. If you enjoy the music from the show, uh, you can support Beth directly at her band camp. She provides all of the music for season two and a lot for season one, uh, which you can find at B-E-T-H-T-R-I-P-P, bethtrip.bandcamp.com. So if you're interested, you want to hear our songs wherever you go and support one of our castmates directly, that's the best way to do it. Well, I think that's going to be it for this week. Thank you so much for listening. Please tune in to the finale of The Bloody Past coming soon. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you on the flip side. Drink lots of water. Bye. guys this time um yeah, i'm I, I i i turn to my teammates and um i take a moment before i say to them when we're back in the future tomorrow they're going to be very upset that you we threw a, him out of the start window to hear screaming from outside i close the window oh. can i close the window <laughs> Uh, no, you can't do anything, Zeus. You are not. You are not cognizant yet. <laughs> can I close the window? You can close the window. <laughs> Me, casual conversation. A man screaming as he nearly dies outside. Me closing no, no, the no, window no. casually. No, no. This is the scream of a pedestrian. Ah, uh, I close the window. <laughs> <laughs> you, the window's closed, and you can still hear screaming. In fact, it's getting oh, worse, no. but it's very muffled. All right, guys, we get out. Uh, We're going out through the back door. door. I need you both to know that when we go back to the future tomorrow, I can get us out of this mess if you will listen to me. I know that it's going to be a very bad and sticky situation, but I can get us out of it. Also, we never, ever speak of what happened here. And then I walk out the door. All right. Seuss is not moving. I... I make a... Let's make a strength check together to pick up Seuss. All right. No, it's, not, it's just just motion her. Like grab grab her shoulder. You don't have to carry her. Yeah, you don't. She's not gonna fight you right now. She's she is conscious. Oh, okay, okay. Just, uh, has absolutely zero control of her faculties for at least another five minutes. All right, I grab Seuss by the hand and I lead her out. Uh, she follows you, bling and uh, vacant. Like Seuss, literally all you can see right now, all you're aware of is the screaming and the groveling. And the look in his eyes as he fell from that window. That is all you can think of right now. Uh, and it's it's bringing do... you back somewhere else. Have we seen stairs in this building before? Yes, there are there are fire escape stairs. You just have never taken them. But <laughs> like any sweet. like any hotel, there are stairs. Sweet. We're taking the stairs. All right, you guys get into yeah. the stairwell, and as soon as the door clicks behind you, you can hear uh, frantic running in the hallway. Coming from up or down? Just the hallway behind you from where you were. We need to move faster. Let's go. Let's go. Which right, way are you I going, up running. or down? Down. Down. Yeah, you guys start running down. Um, you are not moving very fast. You are making a bit of noise, especially via Seuss, as she is still following you, do, like, dutifully but there is no um there is no frenzy there is no stealth she is clomping and falling and you're like so Seuss, you're gonna have a couple of bruises because you're just bumping into shit and tripping all over the place oh i'm sure but i will say by the time you guys reach the bottom of the staircase you can hear other people in the staircase you can't really tell where they're coming from or which way they're going but you can hear frantic mutters you can hear people running around 
and you think you can make out Dandy's voice from somewhere above. Uh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> you guys exit, and you are back in the lobby, actually. From outside, you can see through the glass windows uh, that there is quite a large crowd. The police are starting to show up, and everyone in the lobby, the very few people who are standing around, are just staring in horror at what just occurred outside. Back door. <laughs> There is not a back door that you're aware of. If you would like to go search past Dandy's office from where, like, the kitchen is, there could be uh, another exit outside, but there is nothing you are aware of. You're going to have to look for one. Or you can take your you can take your chances by going out the front door. I don't... I, <laughs> is like there anyone at the front exit? desk? Howie's at the front desk, and she's just kind of uh, looking outside with a very glazed expression. I want to yell over to Howie and be like, Howie, is there a back door? Howie's just going to go up and ask her. Howie lo- like turns to look at you, but she doesn't really say anything. She's just like, what? Wh- what What? just happened? Oh, damn, she saw. Did Was that? Did, did you guys? Howie, we need to leave. She doesn't she doesn't really like understand that question. How right, we, how we is how is there a back door? door? Oh my god. Is that the, safe? There's a I, it's the safe, back. It's safer than being in here. The back? What? The uh, back door? The kitchen. There's there's a back there's a back door in the kitchen. Thank you, Howie. I love you. Uh, I, I don't trust Howie. I don't I I do. Alright, by the okay. time you think he has the capacity to lie to us right now. Okay. By the time you guys run outside, um and you're outside Zeus you snap back you're back you are sick to your stomach but you are back oh my god he wanted to play god he wanted to play god he wanted to be god okay okay I just opened the window I just opened the window where are we what Zeus where are you guys what are in an alley okay what happened where Zeus just remember that you had nothing with that where Where's where's Roger? Where's Roger? Where why 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 was there screaming? What happened? Don't think about it too hard. We have to go. Oh we my god. Go and... Okay, where 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 do we go? Where do we go? Um, we're going Did to you know about the, ju- the juice box. Do you know about that? You place? are not. You are not sure. She didn't before, but she was doing some investigation into Roger and his locations, and he is known to have frequented that bar. So you, there's a toss up. Okay, so that's probably not safe. I, we just go to his house, uh, right? Because we have to put the blood on the door to get Tempest out. Oh my god, Did you guys get any of his blood? I would assume so, considering we stabbed him and I had to manhandle him out a window. Well, I mean, you we guys- also didn't... still have the knife. You didn't remove the knife. You stabbed him, but I don't- I don't- you didn't specify right, what Mark was gonna. Him. Mark was gonna go in for a second stab, so I assumed it was still in his hand. Yeah. No, he punched him. No, okay, but I- d- I would assume no, but after the first him. after the first stab, he said he was going to go for another stab, and then he ended up going for a punch. Oh, I thought he just stabbed him and he left it in there. I was like, oh god. No. Uh, I no. see. Okay, you have some, you have a little bit of Roger's blood. All right, so we should go to his house fast then. Yes. How are you going to get there? Taxi. Um, <laughs> run good. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. We, we shouldn't take a taxi because we're probably covered in blood. Uh, well, you are specifically. You've got some sp- lovely splatter on you. The question is, um, you know, the way he was thrashing, okay. around, especially. I think he he didn't hit anyone. Yeah, it's 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 all Roger's blood. But you guys definitely look uh, suspicious AF. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna look around in the alley see if there's like anything I could cover myself with. Uh, okay. No, that's um, fine. What are they gonna do? Little... Arrest you and then you're gone tomorrow? Mark, roll luck. I mean, roll luck. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we still have, have to free Tempest. If he's just stuck in, if you guys leave before you free him, um, then you're not gonna be get any of the boon because he's he's trapped in in that house. He's not gonna be able to help you in hell. Can I give you like my overshirt <laughs> to put over your shirt? Isn't your overshirt probably also covered in blood? Yeah, you were holding him. Yeah, yeah right. you were holding him while he got stabbed. You're both bloody. Also, Seuss is not. Nice. Seuss just Seuss just looks like they saw um someone get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> Suze witnessed a murder, and the two of us are covered in blood, and we're the murderers. And <laughs> Suze does not, has not put it together yet. No. <laughs> um, so, I did get an extreme success for- 
Okay. You find um you find a guy actually sleeping behind a dumpster <laughs> and he is literally surrounded by bags of clothes. Uh even though he uh un- he looks a little dirty. He has just taken a fat nap surrounded by clothes. That's a, okay. That's amazing um, luck. Wow. Uh everybody take some clothes. Yeah. He doesn't wait, even wait, 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 twitch wait, wait, wait. as you guys rummage through his bags. Okay, that's good because I was going to say maybe we should Nah, I'm gonna you with an extreme success for luck. I'm just gonna say you guys fucking lucked the fuck out. So, the um, oh, yeah. all the clothes you pick uh, are exactly your size. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Thank God. All right, and now you guys are looking fresh as you uh just assumedly murdered Roger. Uh, since there is no one kind of bothered to check to see if he was still moving after he launched out the window. You are unsure if he is dead or alive. However, his chances of survival total are pretty slim after being stabbed and thrown out a window. Do you know right now whether he's alive or dead? I do. Yeah, that's what that's what I was asking. Okay. Yes, I did, do. Did you yes. roll something for it? Yes, I did. I had a, that gave him a luck, he's probably super dead. <laughs> I gave him a 50/50 and I rolled a a, a d uh the d4 the triangle one because it's I, I gave him odds he lived uh even he died i cannot wait to find out which is which later after we go back home because <laughs> well what the thing is we need his blood right so we can this but like but if like he's alive he can just trap tempest yeah tempest specifically said you had to kill roger because if he even if you let him out the knowledge that Roger has alive is too dangerous against him, so he needed Roger to die. That this makes is, sense. This is okay. so stressful, though. You literally gave him, after everything we did, he had a 50, 50 chance <laughs> of death. There. I have I have a proposition for you. Um, Pete, do you want to mm-hmm. go and unlock the blood door and I can go make sure if Roger's dead or not. I don't see the harm in splitting up the party right now, honestly. Like, Because even if it ends up that they figure out or were suspicious enough of me, if I know, I don't know how I would relay that to you guys, but we do I go mean, back to the future at the end of the day today. So it's exact. not like I would be in jail forever. You have and until like, noon tomorrow. And but like, I will say, it's like... I'm gonna say it's for time um it is currently about 4 p.m so you have until noon tomorrow to finish everything you need to do here okay and uh, realistically like if he's not dead like park what's the harm in just literally stabbing him again like he'll go to jail and then... <laughs> murders a man in front of a crowd of people <laughs> a second time <laughs> after, <laughs> after we literally just stabbed him and threw him out of a fucking sixth story hotel window i go back to the scene of the crime just to stab him again for good luck um okay i i turn to both of you and i say all right i'm i'm sorry guys i fucked up there but i'm gonna make it up to you where do you want me suze wherever you feel most comfortable being is is where i want you if you are if you think it would be better to go with Pete and you guys can go take care of Tempest, um, that's fine. Uh, just know that if you come with me to the front of the building when I go to check and see if he's alive, if he is alive, you will see me hurt him again. You guys did so much, and I've, I I fucked that up. I'm, I'm not going to let you down again. If If there's something that needs to be done, I got you. Also, Pete, right. do, you th- do you think you can take on a whole ass demon by yourself? Like, I mean, like, really, I either go to jail here, die here, or go to jail. T- so, like, all my options seem pretty shitty. It's fine. All right. I, I suppose I should pro- pose the question, Pete. Do you want to go to Tempest, or do- would you prefer to check for Roger? Okay. okay. So the question was, did I feel comfortable going to? So I'm just yeah. Pick um, what I was yeah. about to say, um, I was gonna say, me and Tempest are boys. Like, I'm not worried about him. All right. So then, Suze, where would you like to go? I'll come with you, Park. All right. Okay. Pete, Park, Suze, you guys split up with Pete. Pete, you are 
going to figure out how to make your way all the way out to Roger's house without drawing any attention to yourself anymore. Um, now, the alley does lead uh, in two directions. One, you can tell, will uh, sort of poop you back out on the main street because you can hear, um, you know, you can hear police, you can pe hear people screaming, you can hear a lot of, you know, obviously chaos going on out there. And the other direction looks like it connects to a different street. So, in that okay. way, you guys have split the party. Um, and we're going to start with you, Pete. How would you like to figure out how to get to Roger's house? I'm gonna, now that I'm not in bloodied up clothing, I'm gonna try to hail a taxi. Okay. You go out to this other street, given the events of what are taking place literally one street over, it, it's not exactly busy over here, so I'm gonna have you once more roll luck. Alright, um, I'm very close, but I did get a success. Okay. Just so happens as you sort of exit the alley and look both ways across the street, uh, a taxi cab sort of starts pulling up. Uh, as you give him a wave, he pulls over and he goes, "You looking to take a ride?" Mm-hmm. All right, hop <laughs> in. I don't, I don't know what this accent is, but uh, hop in. I'll take you wherever you need to go. <laughs> I jump in. I'm like, "Hey, man, how you doing?" I'm doing just spiffy. Where can I take you? Roger, whatever his address is. Okie dokie, and he speeds <laughs> off. Um, <laughs> Seuss Park. In the other direction lies a massive crowd as the two of you sort of you don't you haven't exited the alley yet because I'll, I'll wait for you to decide where you're going to go um how you would like to handle this but from where you're you're positioned discreetly in the alley you can see that what looks like a ring of people are surrounding something you can assume to be roger and there is uh, several police officers there's kind of chaos everywhere uh, and you do see Dandy, because she is standing ahead above everybody else. She looks bad. <laughs> when you say I, bad, I... can you can you put like like sad, mad, uh, disgusted? She looks, she looks like someone just ripped out several of her organs. She looks in. Dandy's going through every stage of grief right now. Exactly, pain. She's furious. She's sad. But mostly, she for the moment, she just looks dumbstruck. And her face is mm. the whitest you've ever seen. There, it, it, it genuinely looks like she has no idea what's happening. Um, I turn to Suze, and I say, Pete isn't with us right now. We're going to pretend, if it comes up to Dandy, that he did this and got away from us. I mean, that's basically understand? almost what happened, so yeah. Perfect. Hey. Shut up, you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you walked in the other direction. You can't hear this. <laughs> All right. Damn, that's so, going to hate forever. Go ahead and tell me how this goes. I will I will take over basically the body of Dandy for this scene, so please like approach however you'd like. Just you let, you take the lead here. All right. I come around the corner of the building, so we're coming out of the alley, and I look to Dandy. Dandy um, has not noticed you. She is daring. Eyes basically glazed, but also almost unseeing at this point. Can I go up and put a hand on her shoulder to get her attention? She whips around and looks at you, and immediately grabs you by the throat. <laughs> And she goes, what? <laughs> what did you do? Uh, all right, Sue Suze, Suze sees this and runs up and tries to separate them and says, Dandy, wait! Wait, it wasn't us. It was Pete. He went off the fucking deep end. Have you seen him? No. I, I, I'm I, I'm sorry. She lets go of you. She looks horrified. She goes, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, it's I, okay. I was, I was waiting for you in your room, and, and I just, I just saw him fall. And I, I just got out. I just got out here, and I, oh, I don't even know if he's alive. He's they, they're the police are kind of pushing us all back. I can, I mean, and she kind of just like stares in his general direction, and you can see Roger unmoving as several people are attempting to load him onto like a makeshift stretcher as they're waiting for, um, assumedly, the 1920s equivalent of an ambulance to arrive, if those exist. I assume they do. Dandy, um, we we gotta figure out if he's alive. You gotta do something to get us over there. No, I. What am I gonna do? 
this is just... a police this is a police matter at this point. If if he's alive at all, then we just we can't even go over there. They just they need to do their thing, and and we have to hope to God that that they didn't. No, they did do that. They didn't get him. I, I know. What, what I know. Are, but we we what gotta we know. Get... I we can we can give it a moment, Sus. It's it's okay. Um, if what you, are we gonna do? I I don't think there's anything we really can do right now. Um, I I suppose we wait for medical professionals to take care of him, and if he makes it, that's wonderful. But I I I wanted to come tell you that um, we. I don't know where Pete went. I just I wanted to let you know, but I guess it's uh that doesn't really help anything at this point. Roll uh deception? Yeah. Is that fast what it talk. is? Yeah. Fast talk, that's the one. Fast talk. Roll fast talk. Because um, you do know where Pete went. That is a hard success. Okay. Dandy uh visibly relaxes a little bit as you say this to her and she goes, Okay, I I, I, I believe you guys. Oh my god. We have to Oh god. Oh what what do we what do we do? Does this I have to I have to go tell my friend. Uh, that means if if Roger is alive, great. Uh, there's nothing more we can do here. Even if we go over and, you know, check his vitals, if that if they even let us do that, what exactly are we going to do? I think we should I think we should go back into the hotel. I think we should regroup. I think we need to figure out exactly exactly what happened what room he was in we need to go find some clues and we need to track down and see see if pete left anything because obviously if he did this then he he must have you know he must have figured out a way to get another room or or maybe he rented one separately when exactly when exactly did he leave you guys what what happened okay because okay. i we came oh, wait, back to I, the I, hotel i put i put a i put a hand on, on park's shoulder and i say hold on hold on no 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 sorry dandy we got a little freaked out I feel like we weren't on the best of terms and uh Roger was feeling uncomfortable. So, well, he's always uncomfortable, but we wanted to get another room because he trusted us. So, we got another room from Howie and we 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 brought him up and everything was going good. You know, something seemed off. I was I was feeling a little faint, but I I couldn't quite put my finger on it and then uh just like out of nowhere, Pete like grabbed a pillow and like started trying to trying to, uh, to choke him and roger was fighting back and it was crazy and then he got pushed out the window oh my god and you guys didn't i, I mean i mean granted i i've i've been there when someone murdered someone else did you guys not try to restrain him or did he just bolt immediately what what happened Dandy. i i tried to grab him he was just a bit too quick for me i should have acted sooner he apparently was a trained assassin. What? Yeah, he he like he does this shit for a living. I've never seen anything like it in my whole life. Do you... he had a knife? He did. Have I don't a knife. even know where he got it from. That's I don't. I don't like, remember well, where he got it from. I, I, I rolled a ten for fast talk. So did it's you roll extreme wait, success? Are you rolled again? Okay, perfect. I did. Yeah. Okay, great. So she's like I, laughing I, this I, up. I came up. I came up with what I said. I rolled the dice <laughs> and I said it. <laughs> perfect. Um, Dandy's like, okay, well, oh my god, do you think he did he take did he take the deal? I maybe. I don't know. And if he did do that, he would know that we would try and go after him, so he would probably try and lay low. I mean, that's, like, the reasonable thing to do, that it'd be kind of crazy to go somewhere that people expected you to, I guess. I don't, I, I have no idea where he is. He got a, he got a, out ahead of us, and he got out of the building before us. I, I have no idea where he went. Okay, where, um, you guys are all new, I know that. Where have you frequented? Where where would you think he would feel safe enough to go? Just to lay low for a little bit before all of this blows over. Where where would you think he would go? I'm going to try and phrase this very carefully. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say, well, we all visited the juice box a lot. Okay. The juice box. Isn't that, that's that bar you guys met Roger at, correct? Yeah. Okay. Did you guys have any friends there that you may have... Or, or specifically that Pete may have made a friend there. I mean, 
We I, didn't we didn't really make friends. There was like the guy that drank our alcohol for us and <laughs> the guy that runs the joint, but I doubt that he would help him. Okay, so he probably so he wouldn't go to the juice box then you guys don't think? Unless I mean, he was just hiding out. It's, well, you it's know entirely what? possible that he could have gone there to hide out, but I don't I don't think anyone there would give him sympathies or, or go out of their way to help him. There was also okay. the smellatorium that we visited. Oh, right. Oh, is that that's Roger's workplace, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think the best course of action is to split up. I I'll take the juice box. If you guys want, I don't know where the hell the smellatorium is. I, I don't even know what that is, frankly. If you guys want to go there, um, and then I will go to the juice box. Let's meet up here in one hour. And if in the meantime, if anyone finds him, restrain him. And if you know we don't see each other in an hour, if you just try and keep him there, um, wherever he is. If you guys find him, if I find him, if you don't, if we come back in an hour and we're not here, go to the other location because that will mean something. And or or you know whatever but we'll meet up here in an hour if if you're not here i'll head to the smellatorium if i'm not here head to the juice box okay great sounds good perfect okay J dandy takes off fucking running um let's convincingly take off running in a different direction <laughs> wait we have to figure out if roger's dead we can give it a minute we literally can't give it a minute we don't know we where the fucking hospital we can literally is. turn around we can turn around Okay, we just yeah. need to make it look like we're leaving. Okay, I started sprinting. <laughs> you guys sprint in the opposite direction, and after a good, solid one minute of sprinting, um, you're pretty, you're far enough away that you can't even make out Dandy anymore. <laughs>